And I think Americans largely get it. They know who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. This strip of land is being bombarded from the air, sea and land. Israel launched at least 160 strikes on the Gaza Strip. And there's one less hospital in Gaza now. This is the latest CNN ORC poll of Americans shows 57% of those polls say Israel's action in Gaza is justified, 34% say unjustified. A man's got to do what a man's got to do, and you'd say a country's got to do what a country's got to do. We have to defend ourselves. It's very difficult to divorce public opinion on any question from the media coverage that people rely on to form opinions. And I think the most prevalent lesson from looking at the coverage is that the coverage tends to see this conflict from the Israeli side. Israel is a state that implements its right to defend itself and its citizens. We hear over and over again that the conflict comes down to Palestinian terrorism and Israeli security. If rockets fly on your head, you're allowed to defend yourself. And what gets pushed out of the frame entirely is the fact now that for almost 50 years, Palestinians have been systematically dispossessed from their land and denied their most basic human rights. They have been able to effectively defend the indefensible to the American public through miseducation and misinformation campaigns through effective talking points. What would you do? More than 3,000 rockets have been fired on your cities. Any advertising executive will tell you the essence of propaganda is repetition. Israel has a right to defend itself against rocket and tunnel attacks from Hamas. Israel is under siege by a terrorist organization. The American political class has basically swallowed the line, hook, line, and sink. This administration will always stand up for Israel right to defend itself. The other area where this is largely true, I would say, is the media. Why is Hamas launching missiles into population centers of Israel? Our national media is a scandal when it comes to Israel. They're always preparing Americans for an attack against these people who are incorrigible terrorists and never, ever giving the other side of the story. Well, Hamas rockets rain down on Israeli border towns. Israel's mechanism of projecting its propaganda, or what they call Hasbara, is a weapon of Israeli warfare.